So by now, a lot of you guys ask the same question over and over. Your skills, what is the best way to level your watch in year five of season two as season two is coming up? Or if you're in season one and you're trying to finish that seasonal pass, what's the fastest way to level your watch up? So we're going to be talking about that. The same way you level your watch up is the same way you level up your seasonal pass. So let's take it back to the basics and go all the way to the open world map. So if we look at my map, you can kind of see it right here, right? And I'm just gonna show you my global dirt. I just put it on normal. I usually have it on heroic, but I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start from the beginning. And then we also have the directives. Now remember, each directives gives you 25% extra XP. So if you were to have all five directives on, whether you're on normal, hard, challenging, or heroic, it's 25% for each directive you have on, right? Right now we have nothing. And then if you notice normal, hard, it never says more XP, but you are getting more XP for each thing. And I'm gonna show you that real quick. So let's go take a look at the control points on normal. On normal, you're only getting 29,000, right? If you look at the resource convoys, you're only getting 47,000. Public execution, which is the fastest way to get your level up, doesn't even show XP, think it might be bugged. We go over here, we have propaganda that's giving you 80,000. You have um, territory control that's giving you 48,000. A huge difference if you're doing this on normal. And remember, we'll show you all five directives at the end, but I did wanna show you every level. So this is just normal, guys. Highly recommend not doing this on normal. Um, it's just, it's way too easy and XP is not there and it'll take you forever, right? So let's head over. We're gonna bump up the difficulty. So if we look at my map on hard. We know we have it on hard right now. Let's take a look at control points. Control points are already at 104,000. So you see the bump we get for hard. We look at resource convoys. Now they're at 81,000. We head over to the territory control, 82,000. We go to public execution, 145,000, which we weren't seeing on hard, but I'm sure it's there. And then propaganda is giving us 136. And this is without doing any directive, right? You can actually add directives on this and get up to 125% extra. So what we're gonna do is we're now we're gonna go to challenging. So you can see our world is on challenging, global settings challenging. If we go look at control points now, 206,000, right? That's, that's a nice chunk. Let's go see. Um, we have a territory control right here, 106,000. We have a resource convoy, 104,000. Look execution, 187,000. So you're starting to see without any type of directives, the XP goes up. Now, one thing I will tell you, if you can't farm heroic difficulty, challenge is still good. Just put the directives on, right? That's what I personally would recommend. Put the directives on and just run through them. Once you have a build, to run through Heroic, then bump it up because we're gonna start showing you what the fastest way to level up is with directives on, right? So we're gonna go to Heroic right now. We're at zero XP, let's take a look. So you can see our global difficulty is a Heroic. We currently have no directives and let's take a look. So if we look at our control points, they're already sitting at 361,000. Remember, you need 700,000 for each level, right? So that means you'll get one shade level plus you'll get, um, if you're working on your seasonal pass, we go take a look at the resource convoys, 128,000. We take a territory control, 130,000. So you can already see how they're starting to bump up. Um, propaganda is at 217,000. Right here, public execution, 230,000. And these, you remember, these only have one or two waves. So that's just on heroic. So right now you see that we're on heroic. We have all five directives. So you can see it already says 125% extra XP. We go over to a control point. 812,000. Remember, if you look right here, for each shade level, it's 700,000. You can see right where my number says 4,439. So what does that mean? We're leveling up one time each control point. Now, if you go look at the propaganda, which is the second highest way to get leveled up, it's 489,000 because it's fast. The best way is these public execution, 518,000 because it's two waves and you're done, right? You go through the next wave and you're complete. So something for you guys to keep in mind if you guys wanna do that. Resource convoys, 289,000, but obviously the public executions, the propaganda, any of these open world activities 
are the way to go. They're the 100% fastest way to level up. Now you need a build for this and I'll show you why and we'll do a few of these public executions. So if you look right here, I have one of my favorite ones to run the hot shot. It's a four piece hot shot. You have the Walker and Harris name chest piece, perfect headhunter, and then you have the backpack vigilance. You can also run a pistol version of this and I'll also put a link to these, both of these full build breakdowns. But all you wanna do, once you have the build, you have it on heroic, you have five directives, and then you just need a place to farm. So this control point right here that has Washington Monument and then you have Tidal Basin, this area right here is my favorite. Now you have three public executions right there, right? We have two propaganda, you have a uh, territory control, you also have a resource convoy coming out. This area, I love to farm, and then I'll go somewhere else, farm, and I'll come back. I always fast travel Tidal Basin, I take this out, and then what I'll do is, I'll look for areas like this right above it, you see? There's, there's some more um, activities up there. There's also activities down here. You see right south of Airspace Museum. So I like to do these and I go back to the area. A tip I'll give you is do not capture the control points. Now, if you need uh, blueprints, okay. But if you don't, the more control points you have active, the more these activities will continue to spawn over and over and over. And that's what you really want. You wanna be able to farm these activities as much as possible. And you might say, but control points give you 800,000 XP, but public executions only give you 500,000. But the fact is you literally have two waves. Like I have this wave right here and I'm gonna one shot everything. And then I have one wave come out after that and then it's over. It's literally that fast. That's why public executions are so quick versus control points. Cause it's waves and waves of enemy, you know? And then you have to defend after you capture it with this literally just one shot everything once once i hit him can i hit him can i hit him so once i hit him and then i just got to go talk to the hostage right you can collect whatever you want tuck the hostage and 518,000 xp plus the xp i got from headshotting all the enemies now remember they don't have to all be public executions if you get two public executions and you get two propagandas propagandas are still really good too but those take just a little bit longer you can also even knock out the territory controls if they're right next to a public execution because instead of having to fast travel to another public execution, you can just hit those really quick. Those are very easy to do. Those only have two waves and that's it, right? Your first wave and then the second wave after they come out to defend. So for me, honestly, this still is the best way in year five, season two for all you new returning players. This is what I'll be doing once season two goes live i'll be running these and some of you guys might have remembered resource convoys being the fastest way but they definitely tone those down a lot and the amount of times you have to fast travel just to get the amount of xp you're going to get from these it, it's it's minimum and that's why a lot of people don't do them if they happen to be in the area yes but again these open world activities are gonna be your fastest way to level up. And don't forget, I'll have the two fastest farming builds that you guys can run that can one shot. You can run a pistol version of it, or you can run the sniper version of it. So open your map. When you see these open world activities, do them. And this area generally has a ton of unpopulated. Keep the control points red and just keep doing the activities. If you can only do it on challenging, start there and then work your way to heroic but if you guys want to level your shade watch up you want to complete your seasonal pass fast this right here is the fastest and easiest way to do that so i'll see you guys in the next one hey nothing but skills out take it easy everybody